ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 28th of January. James Spann here, and a lot to talk about. We've got an Arctic shot Friday. Potential for a snowstorm Monday of next week somewhere across the Deep South. Where? How much? Well, let's see if we can answer some of those questions. But first off, a reminder, Utah, we are coming your way tomorrow night. We'll be at Greene County High School at 7. Uh, every year we try and take the show to a new place where they've never had the show before, and this is the spot this year down in uh, Utah in the gym at Greene County High School. Uh, so 7 o'clock Thursday, this is the annual Severe Weather Awareness Tour. You'll see some remarkable weather stories, uh, get some cool stuff to take home, uh, and meet the weather team and, and much more. So uh, tomorrow night at 7 in Utah. Uh, the next three weeks after that will be in Trustville, Jasper, and Oxford. There will be another show after that. We'll announce the date and the place a little later. For the most part, the rain is winding down. The rain and the wintry mix we've had today. There's our Demopolis sky cam. The sky a little brighter down to 41 at Demopolis. Downtown Birmingham at the Daniel Building is showing 39 up there. Uh, as we started the day in the 60s, we are now in the upper 30s, at least at that spot. Uh, it's looking right down 20th Street and up on Mount Cheha, they are in the clouds. And not as cold over there because the cold air, of course, uh, reaching East Alabama last. Here's our water vapor satellite shot this afternoon. The uh, big wave that's produced the incredible ice storm north of here is lifting out to the northeast. And things are improving dramatically uh, over Kentucky and Tennessee, Arkansas. Oklahoma and Texas, but it's cold in the wake of all of that snow and ice. You can see the freeze line, that red line uh, below Memphis. Memphis at 27 at early afternoon. Dallas-Fort Worth at 30. And uh, we'll be in the cold air for a few days. Uh, the coldest day will be Friday, where we might not get out of the 30s. There's a look at temperatures as of uh, 2 o'clock at the official reporting sites. Uh, as cold as 34 up in Haleyville, up in uh, Winston County. Uh, the Birmingham Airport showing 42, but again, the Skycam uh, in real time downtown showing 39. And to find the 50s, you have to go down to Montgomery, where they've got uh, 54 right now. There's the radar at 210, and you can see the uh, bulk of the really organized rain is pushed off to the east and south. A few lingering patches of light rain over Bibb, Shelby, Talladega counties, but uh, the precipitation event pretty much over. Had a number of reports of sleet. And some snowflakes mixed in with that uh, earlier today before it ended as far south as Jefferson County. Watch warning map. Winter storm warnings up for a large chunk of Pennsylvania, New York, and New England where they're getting hammered with heavy snow. But uh, for the ice zone areas, it's pretty much over. Now they've got to get the power back on. It's going to take days to rebuild that infrastructure. In the QPF map, expected precipitation for the next five days valid through Monday morning. And really, this takes into effect most of what we had today. Uh, I think we'll be dry through Sunday evening, but uh, Monday of next week will be a challenging forecast. This is the 12Z GFS at noon tomorrow. This is at about 18,000 feet off the ground at the 500 millibar level. Still got a trough axis west of the state. Uh, down below will be cool and dry. The high uh, at or maybe just above 50 or maybe just below 50. But that trough axis sharpens up on Friday. And, you know, that's going to deliver some cold air down in here. Yeah, buddy, look at the thickness values drop. We will struggle to reach 40 on Friday. Going to be a cold day, windy day. The high only around 40 and the wind chill index below freezing much of the day. Saturday starting off the weekend, the surface high right over us will be around 20 Saturday morning, teens for the valleys. Then we'll wind up uh, in the low 50s Saturday afternoon. And then Sunday, uh, we warm up into the mid 50s. Bo, oh, but you see the players on the field, don't you? The building moisture to the west and the cold air to the north. Let's look at Monday of next week. This is the GFS now. It shows a major trough sweeping in here, and that spins up a coastal storm. Now, this run, the 12Z run, a little farther north. You know, the, the run we showed you this morning it had the low down at Tallahassee. Well, now the low is closer to Columbus, Georgia. That would mean the greater chance of snow northwest of Birmingham. Uh, places like Haleyville, Cullman, Huntsville. But remember, now, come on, this is five days out. You're going to see every run will look different. But the idea of a coastal storm on the board looks good now. Uh, all of the other models agree. The Canadian, the European, they're all on board with this. Now we've got to figure out who gets rain, who gets snow. It's too early to call. 
But this could be a very effective snow producer for parts of the Deep South, whether it's Nashville, Muscle Shoals, Huntsville, Birmingham, Montgomery. We just don't know yet. No point in getting worked up about it, but uh, we're, the confidence is growing. This could be a significant winter storm. Uh, the next day, the thing bombs out. 984 millibars. Uh, goodness, that's up there uh, around New York City with a major interior snowstorm and uh, rain wrapping into the uh, New England coast up there. But again, for the nor'easter, again, our friends on the east coast will have to wait as well. It's too early for those folks to make a call. And then uh, Wednesday of next week, it's gone. It's just cold. We'll dig deeper into February. How about the 8th? We'll shortwave rotating, th rotating through here with uh, another uh, storm, a uh, rain look there. And then on the 13th, Kind of a trough out west and a ridge around here, but every run has looked different. The confidence out here is just no good. I mean, uh, let's focus on Monday. We'll deal with this uh, longer-range stuff after that event. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, alabamawx.com. If you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes, the next video should be here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.